Hello everyone. It's been a while since I've done one of these quick editing videos. I had a little extra time this morning, so I thought I'd give this one a shot. Here is a northern pintail drake that I recently photographed at John Hines Wildlife Refuge in Philadelphia. Um, so I really like the shot. It was relatively early morning. Nice low angle. The bird shows really well, especially this lovely pintail. And I, I really like the little touch of iridescence that shows on the back of the head there. So I'm going to start right here in Lightroom. And the first thing I'm going to do is hop over into develop and start with a crop. I'm just going to use the straightening tool here. Just make sure I have that kind of level. So I'm going to do something a little bit different with this crop than I normally would. Normally an image like this I would kind of offset this way with space in front of the bird. But I really like the blue wake that's kind of showing behind the bird here. So I kind of want to show that off a little bit. So I'm going to offset the bird a little bit to the left of the frame. Something like that seems pretty good and I'm just going to give a little bit more space just because that's kind of how I like to go with things. And there, that's looking pretty good. So, uh, first thing I'm going to darken a little bit. I was slightly overexposed. I'm going to pull the highlights down see if I can get more detail in the neck there. Uh, maybe just a touch darker. Bring the shadows up just a little bit. And then kind of punch the blacks. And there we go, that's looking good. White balance I really like. Uh, the only thing I don't like is the background's a little bit too light and the foreground a little bit here. So I'm going to try and use the, the graduated adjustment filter, or tool, I'm sorry. And we're just going to darken that down a little bit. And then I'll apply the same to the foreground. Kind of really draw our eye into the bird. And my goal is going to be to actually enhance that a little bit further when we get into Photoshop. So that's looking pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and pop that into Photoshop. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, here we are in Photoshop. First thing I'm going to do is add one of my burn layers. It's just a curves adjustment layer that is preset to apply a darkening curve. And I'm just going to use the regular paintbrush here and start painting in. Uh, my goal here is to take down some of these brighter spots in the background to kind of neutralize the tone overall of the image here. So I'll just go through real quick and darken that down. Now this photograph was taken while under um, just a camo throw hide. I just kind of picked a spot along the shoreline where I thought the birds might come nearby and I set up first thing in the morning and then just kind of waited there. I think this was probably about an hour or so, maybe hour and a half after sunrise. I'm going to darken the foreground a little bit here. Uh, so that's just a little bit about how this photo was taken. So I noticed when I do this a lot of times, when I'm darkening backgrounds like that, I kind of naturally end up with a halo around the bird, which I don't like. Oops. So I'm actually going to overlap the bird just a little bit here with some of that so it, do, it looks more natural. And then I'm going to zoom way in, get a much smaller brush, and then paint with black to get rid of that darkening I had just painted over the bird. Uh, so huge advantage of layer masks here, which in this case it's an adjustment layer over here, but that adjustment layer comes with the layer mask. I'm just going to hide that palette real quick. Is that if you paint something wrong, you know, if you put an effect where you didn't want it, you can just switch to black and get rid of the effect. So kind of paint it in and out, which is great. Uh, so I'm also noticing as I'm zoomed in way in here, I kind of lost some detail on the front of the neck there, especially the top. So uh, in a little bit, I'm going to see if I can bring some of that back from the original raw file. So this is starting to look pretty good. All right, let's bring these palettes back. Um, I want a little bit more contrast on the body of the bird there, really kind of show off those detailed feathers. And like I said, I really like the iridescence on the head here, so I'm actually going to enhance that just a touch. So curves adjustment layer, add a little bit of magenta, and then we'll just kind of paint that in subtly there. Get rid of some more of that. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, as I mentioned, I really like the blue wake that's showing here, so. Now I'm actually going to do another curves adjustment layer that's uh, 
bring up the blue, bring down the, or get rid of the red, so add cyan. And I'm going to get rid of that effect everywhere and then just come back and paint it in right on along the water there. So just kind of enhance what was there. We'll make it in the front there pop a little bit more. So here, let me turn that on and off so you can see. So there's before, after, before, after. That was just on the water. So kind of subtle, before, after, but it does make it a little bit more noticeable. Um, I'm really kind of liking where this is at. I'm going to do one more burn layer just to do a little bit more general, taking the background down, really large brush, real soft adjustment. As I go across each time here, it's probably hard to see the overall change, but when I turn that layer I just did on and off, you can see, yeah, probably a little heavy handed there. So I'm going to switch to the move tool, hit five on the number pad, and then drop the opacity of that layer back down to, I, did, I hit six, so we'll go down to 60%. Um, pretty happy with it now. I really like the little splash of green up here. So let's hop back into Lightroom real quick, into develop, see if I can get more detail back on the, the neck there. Looks like I can. I'm going to hit edit in Photoshop real quick again here. So now I have a second copy of this image open. We're just going to drag it over, hold shift. So now it's on top. Add a layer mask to it. Oops. And we'll just paint in this white area here. And there we go. Bringing a little bit of detail back in where I had lost it in the original exposure. Real subtle change, but that's kind of getting picky. Let's darken the bill here just a little bit. It's got some sheen, kind of losing that blue color. And there we go. I think that's the finished piece there. So total before, after. You can see how much more our eye goes to the bird now. I think overall the whole thing is a little dark now. So just a global curves adjustment layer. I'm just going to give it a little bit of lightning. There we go. That looks good to me now. So beginning end. and let me just save that back into Photoshop we go here and I will just actually reset this let's take it right back to where before we made any adjustments so here's the original just cropped here's our final piece so pretty significant change there and uh, all of that happened in seven minutes. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I should be having more of these again in the near future. Thanks.